because it's New Year's. It's New Year's, well, it's New Year's Eve in the future when you're watching this right now. Good morning, friends, and welcome to another Friday vlog. I have to be honest. I woke up this morning late. I stayed up very, very late last night editing a video and just could not sleep. And so part of my brain is like, don't vlog today. You're not in the right frame of mind. You're kind of grumpy. And you need, you got a lot to do. And you woke up late. But I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to hope to do it. And this is going to be what it is. It'll be, it'll be interesting. So I just got to the post office. And I'm going to drop off. I have got, I think I've got a couple packages to drop off. So I'm going to drop those off. And then, you know, I, I'm going to go to Starbucks. I haven't been to Starbucks in several weeks. But I'm going to go because I need a little bit of something. I need, I need some pep in my step today. Also today, um, I am going to go over to the antique mall. So I'll take you with me a little bit. It's not going to be a full shop with me. I'm not, it's just going to be, I'm just going to show you little bits and pieces as part of my day since that's what a kind of what a vlog is. So we're also going to do some shipping and, um, we're going to talk a little bit about storage. Like, you know, where to store your reselling stuff. And what I did when I was reselling out of my house. And I'll show you where I keep things today. And what my plans are for some of the things. So, um, that'll be the vlog today. And then whatever else comes up in the day, we'll do that too. So, welcome to Friday. Well, it's Thursday for me, but it's Friday for you. TGIF, friends. Oh, and it's Happy New Year's. And Happy New Year's. Tomorrow, or today... I'm speaking in the past, but you're in the future. So happy New Year's Eve. Stay safe. All right, let's go put our mask on. Let's go into the post office. All right, just have, yeah, just a, just a couple of packages to take in today. Oh, got to get my key. I'll check my P.O. box as well. All right, we got our one bag of, of boxes. I'm going to take them in. Let's check it. And it's empty. Let's go to Starbucks. Okay. Okay, guys. I'm going to do something. I, the, I'm going to, I'm going into Goodwill. I have some time to spare. I'm going to go into Goodwill. I'm probably just going to film just a little teeny tiny bit because there's honestly not that much here. It's a, it's not that great of a, of an experience, but there's nobody in the parking lot. So that's, that's nice, but we are, we are going to go in, we're going to go in, we're going to see, but I don't have high hopes. Nope. Well, that was a quick trip. I bought nothing. No surprise. Okay, so now we're going to, now we're going to go to Starbucks and then we'll go to the antique mall. All right, I'm in the antique mall and I'm... Um, let me just show you. So, this is Van Bruegel. Never find Van Bruegel. It's a beautiful color. It's $25. So, I'm going to get that. It's beautiful. It's blue. It's so nice. And let's see. I think... I don't know if she's still doing a Christmas sale or not, but I've thought about you guys. This snowflake, it's $25. I think about that, but it's pretty good. Look at her. She's adorable. She's so angry. She's $6. I think she probably had a handle. Oh, I love that it has the original tag on there. So I think I'm going to get her too. Look at this cute little planter. It's ten dollars. It it's got small little chips up there and up there. But oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Man, she got a little chip on her tail, but she's really cute. I think I'm gonna get her too, and her Shawnee friend. My word! Oh my word! Those boxers have been in an injury. $16 as is repair the one with the string this one must have a repair $16 there are Norcrest oh my goodness 
Oh my goodness. Okay, those, I mean, when do you see injured boxers? I don't know, but look at these. I'm gonna get those, by the way. Look at these. These are $5 as is. One has no eyes, no jewels in his eyes, but I like them. I'm going to get those. All right. So here at Riverside, I managed to get two little bins. I want to say Emma got me these for Christmas. They are made by Clever Made, but they collapse flat so I can keep them in my car. And I filled up my box today. Look at that Pyrex back there, the string art. Yeah. So. These things will be coming soon. Maybe I'll show you some of the things that I bought as I unpack them today. We'll see. But let's go. Now we're going to Starbucks for our coffee. Okay. Well, we didn't go to Starbucks because the line was out into the street again. And I'm not doing that. So we're just going to have to live on. We're just going to have to live on Mountain Dew to get us through the day like always. So, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to get my computer set up and, um, pull up the list and I will show you, I'll show you how I keep track of my sales. Like I'll, I'll show you the paper that I write down and then what I do as far as transferring it to make it easier for me to ship. One thing that I do do, um, to prep after the sale a little bit is um, things. These are the things that I have to ship today, as well as these. Now, what I've done here is um, these are some salt and pepper shakers. So after the sale, I went ahead and I wrapped them up in bubble wrap, and then put them in a bag, and then they're ready for me to pack. So I've got the sailboat shakers, um, boxer babies, smoky bear penguins, um, and then if they don't go into a bag, then I just kind of label them. These are the polar bears, butterfly sun catcher. And it just helps me, it, it helps me prep a little bit. So, you know, if I've got some time at the end of the sale, then I'll go ahead and do that. And then I have the giveaways all ready to go. There's Wednesday's giveaway, Tuesday's giveaway. And the rest of these things will get packed up and shipped today. So I'll go ahead and get my computer out and then I'll show you during the sale how I keep track and then what I do as far as paperwork goes to help me keep track of what I do when I ship. I'm watching Jeffrey and Barb's video. Um, but we are going to go back here real quick before I get started on anything else. And I had an eBay sale, which was a Christmas ornament. Christmas ornaments are still selling. So let's go pull that. Right now, I keep all of my eBay items on... Ooh, let's zoom out a little bit on this shelf right here. This tub is full of the Hallmark ornaments that I have. This one was a, that one, the flight at Kitty Hawk. Oh, I'll show you what I, my plans are. So this is like the back storage room and it's, it, it's a mess. So these things that are on these shelves here are all things that are actively listed on eBay. Well, they should be actively listed on eBay because sometimes things will fall off of eBay. So taking good inventory is really important. It's something that I need to do. So what that means is I need to go through here and check and see if all of these things are still listed. Yeah, I know that sounds like a great time, doesn't it? But that needs to be needs to happen sooner rather than rather than later. But we did set up these shelves here. So my plan is to move my active listings in, you know, in this part of the shop on these shelves and kind of kind of give my dad full reign of the stuff back here because a lot of his things are back here so these things need to get moved um i wish that is a really big shelf right there so um i i would like for us to try to find another if we can buy another um shelf to go there because that's a lot of the wasted space but i mean i suppose i can put some storage units or some storage containers that are taking up some room on these shelf. Like that one's full of Afghans. Um, and I can, we can do that. You know, one other thing that we have to do today is I'm having a sale with Michael on Sunday night, this Sunday night, eight o'clock Eastern 
on his channel and we're going to pull some things to sell. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pull the things to sell on Michael's sale. Um, also, while I'm while while you, while you're here, if you're watching this Friday before eight o'clock, because it's New Year's, it's New Year's. Well, it's New Year's Eve in the future when you're watching this right now. But I'm um, at eight o'clock Eastern on New Year's Eve. I'm going to be on Katie the Vintage and Vinyl her YouTube channel, and I'm going to do a mystery box. So I have to get the mystery box ready today, too. My gosh, I got a lot to do today. We got a lot to do. So let's get her done. But I just wanted to show you that's what I did. And honestly, back there, those bins, I had very similar shelves like that in my garage. So when I was working out of my house, I just stored things kind of like I have them stored on the shelf in my garage. Kind of separate them in bins and baskets and put the games on one end and I have these um mug racks to put some of the coffee mugs I went through a coffee mug phase still have some coffee mugs um retail and beauty items uh cd dvds and games and there plush dolls that's kind of a miscellaneous small small things in there it seems like a not very organized but I, I know where things are but I'm going to get even more organized when I move them over there. Like these are all like cross stitch things. But I'm going to organize them a little bit better when I actually get them moved. My Christmas tree is right there. I did move it, but it's not going to stay there. But I am not undecorating it. I'm going to find a spot and that's where it's going to go until next Christmas. We're going to make it easy. Okay. Let's get Kitty Hawk packed. Okay, so... Before we get started on shipping, I want to show you, you know, how I keep paperwork. These are the lists that I have during the sale, and I write everything out. I give everything a number, and then I write down once during the sale, I will write down the price that it sold for and who it sold for. So I do all of that by hand. Then I enter it in using Google Docs, and then... I'm going to try not to show names, but then I will type in who bought it and then what, what things they bought and then how much they paid. So I know when I'm doing this first one here, I am, I know I need to pull the swung vase, the blue glass cat and the Wade holiday lot. So, and I've done that. I've pulled these three things, the Wade holiday lot, and I'll show you, we're going to pack these first, the little glass cat and the swung vase. I know a lot of you might be curious on how in the heck do you ship a swung vase. So I'm going to show you what I do to ship that. But it just, this it helps me keep a record because Google Docs is saved on my computer. So it helps me keep a record and then I can easily go through. So I have to do sit down and transfer that to Google Docs. But um, it keeps me a record for my sales and it also makes it easier for me just to go down the list pull those things and ship those things and then I'll have the price. When I sit down to invoice, I know who it was so I can just write the customer's name on the box and then I have the list right here that I can sit down once I get my boxes piled up and start making the invoices. So that's the way that I do it. It's what works for me. You may do a different, do it differently or have a different um, way of doing it. That's okay. We do what works best for us. That's just what I do. So let's go ahead and let's ship this order. All right, so the first thing, I'm gonna set this guy aside. We'll worry about him in a moment, but we're gonna do the little things first. So we've got this little glass cat. So let's get him wrapped first. All right, so we're gonna lay him out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use two sheets of bubble wrap because he's a little fragile. He's got this long neck and I want to protect that. In fact, what I might do is grab some scrap paper from my scrap paper pile. And we might just wrap him up in paper first. Tuck that down. So I'll wrap him up in paper first just to give him a little bit more of protection. And again, we're gonna use just three pieces of tape. That's all that's required. You don't have to put you know, sheets and sheets of tape because it'll drive your customer a little crazy. All right, so now I've got these little three Wade Whimsies. There's a Valentine's Day, a uh, St. Patrick's Day, and a snowman. 
they're weighed. They're not, I mean, they're pretty durable, but this is shipping to across the country. So I'm going to take a sheet of bubble wrap. I'm just going to cut it in thirds. And then we're just going to wrap these guys just to protect them. I'm not going to over tape them. I'm going to put one piece of tape. One piece of tape. We're not going to even tape the bottoms because they're going to go in a baggie and they'll stay together in that baggie. But we're just going to protect them from getting chipped or dinged or broken. Like I said, they're pretty durable, but we still want to protect them. So I'm going to put them in this little snack size baggie. That should still work. So they'll at least all stay together. It's not gonna work. Okay, we're gonna get a regular, we're gonna get a regular size baggie. Okay, we got a regular size baggie. So now we'll put them in. We'll put them in the regular size. Seal that up, push the air out. Then I will, I'm gonna cut this tissue paper in half because I can use it for both of these little pieces. And I'm not gonna wrap the big base in bubble or in, a, in tissue paper. And again, I, I this is I wrap things um, and I, I add the tissue paper and whatnot. It isn't something that you have to, but I have found over the years that when I add these little touches, I, I get excited about it. So it makes shipping a little bit more exciting for me, not as much of a chore. I get excited knowing that when my customer opens their package, they will get to unwrap a little something, a little gift to themselves. All right, and then we'll put some tool. I've got this red. And also, I am going to put the swung vase in these kind of shoe, well, in two shoe, box, shoe boxes. And I'll show you what I mean in just a moment. But um, another reason why to put some ribbon or tool or string or some kind of, hey, I'm in here, because these are going to be smaller things are going to be added to the package. So I want the buyer to see that they're there. Um, let's see, I'll put in my business card and a cute little card here as a topper. And then on this one, I have these little thank you stickers. And I'll just stick a thank you sticker on there like that. All right, so we'll set these aside. They do go into the box here in a moment. Now we're going to focus on the swung vase. This is like 21 inches tall. What I do is I save all of the cores that my American Bubble Boy, which is a great bubble bubble wrap. You can, there, you can get them at a discount if you follow the link in my description for bubble wrap. But I save the cores, which is these, you know, these rings because they go nice. Now this one's a little, once I get the paper on it, it'll fit on there a little bit. It doesn't go all the way down, but it protects this vulnerable part. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna get some of my scrap paper. I have a whole bin. You know when you go to antique stores or, you know, and they give you, they wrap your things with paper? I save all of that stuff. I'm gonna see if I can fill this vase up a little bit. But I am going to wrap this paper around this face and tape it. Just to protect the, the mouth a little bit. Then I'm going to use some American Bubble Boy bubble wrap. And we're going to wrap the neck with one layer. One piece of tape. And then we'll stick our tube on there. The customer will still be able to pull this tube out, but it gives it some stability. You know, if something whacks up against that, it's got like three layers of bubble wrap inside that core. So let me lay out the bubble wrap and then we'll get to wrapping. All right, and so next we're going to add another layer and I'm gonna use the big bubble wrap. So we've got, kind of looks like that. I'm gonna lay it down. And then we're going to add another layer on top of that one. Isn't that beautiful? 
There isn't any point in trying to make this look any prettier. Well, maybe we'll just put a sticker on it. That will make it prettier, right? There, thank you. Thank you for your order. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put them in. I'm going to see if, I'll, if, they, if they'll fit in two of these USPS shoe boxes. And so they'll be double boxed. I think it should work. But sometimes it's trial and error with these big swung bases. So let's get it going on that. swung vase but we got it we got it um i did like i said i taped two of these um they're, i think they're called shoe boxes on usps and you can go on usps and you can order them for free they're really great boxes to keep on hand when you put them together like this then you are double boxing them and as you saw when i sped up the video i did put paper on all sides so it's pretty well protected it's wrapped very well so i'm pretty very confident, not pretty confident. I'm very confident that it'll arrive where it needs to go in great condition. So now I'm going to weigh it. Now we're going to stand it up. Oh, we blocked you. How rude. It is, it weighs four pounds on the nose. So it weighs four pounds. Now, kind of the hardest part is, not the hardest part, but the expensive part is getting the measurements and this is we're going to measure the top so it's eight by six by 24. okay so this is the thing that scares me mo most to ship even beyond the um swung vase is the animatronic jewelry box because i'm just worried that i don't know so this is isn't this really cute first of all let me show it to you So it sold yesterday during the live sale. So let me aim this down here. I only have a couple more things to do. I, I didn't focus so, a lot on shipping in today's vlog because I want we, we're going to pick some things for some live sales. So I kind of went heavy on the shipping last week. but So we've got all of these little components and things in here. So what I think I might do, I mean, I have not shipped something like this before, but... I think what I might do is use some, I don't know if putting paper in here would, would be better, <laughs> would help it or would, would hurt it. So if I'm just trying to like, see, I don't want to mess up this wire. There's a wire in there. So I think I'm just trying to make it, no. See, that worries me. There's a wire, there's a little wire mechanism here that makes this the swing go up and down. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna really put in a bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna try, it's gonna go, probably will fit in a 10 by eight by six box that I have here, but I'm just gonna try to wrap it as comfortably as I can. So I'm gonna use this big bubble wrap. And that lays down. And you're gonna go for a ride, birdies. I think, you know, if I if I disrupt it, can you even see what I'm doing? Move that up a little bit. If I disrupt the cage, it might during shipping it might, you know, I don't wanna I don't wanna do anything to those wires. So actually the cage itself might be protecting those wires anyway. Alright, so 
I think that will be, I think that that's going to be good. Um, we'll put some tool around it. You little buddies are going to, oh, Canada. Going to Canada. It's like I'm putting on your little scarf. So for your journey to Canada. Put a little card here. I have some of these um, awkward family photos. I got these from the bins. And, I mean, they're just, some of them are pretty bad. Like, look, oh, this would be fitting. This man and his bird. See, there's his little bird. So there we go. Man and his bird. I'm going to put a little, you rock. So, um, 10 by 8 by 6 box. I'll put some paper. I'll just use that same same paper. Down there. Oh, are you going to fit? Oh, I might have gotten a little too. Yeah, see, I'm not, I don't like the way that that's, I don't want there to be any bubbling on the box. So, attempt number two. Do I have a bigger box? I do. I have an 11 by 8 by 6. I think with, tell you this. Oh. I think with shipping, the hardest part to me is just finding finding a good box. See that paper. If I, I don't like this is you know what that doesn't that's the same height good grief Missy. all right give me a moment pals while I find a box I think we found a winner in a 12 by 8 by 8 box so see I can close it and I don't have to worry about it bubbling up so I am gonna have to put some paper down here on the side. Going, you're going out of the country. That's a big deal. Going to the land of ketchup potato chips. Yes, you are. And honestly, I really think that the way that I'm shipping this is probably going to be best. You are not putting paper in the cage to potentially have that interfere with that string. So... Let's close it up. And again, I do buy all of my boxes and shipping supplies on Amazon for the most part, other than my bubble wrap. I do get it from American Bubble Boy. And everything that I use is linked in the description. So you can easily find it. Click on that link. Let's weigh it. It weighs two pounds, 4.5 ounces, so this will go up to 2.5. What did we say you were? You are 12 by 8 by 8. 12 by 8 by 8. All right, let's get you ready to go to Canada. Okay, so I got my shipping done. I'm just waiting on invoices to be paid, and I'll load them up in my car, and we'll take them to the post office. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull things for my Sunday sale with Michael, the Cult of Vintage. So it will be Sunday at what time? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock Eastern on the Cult of Vintage's YouTube channel. So let's... Let's pick some things. I think maybe we will do are these long neck Siamese cats with their little jeweled colors. Okay. Um, and we're gonna pick twelve things. I because I don't I can't remember if he told me twelve or ten. So we're gonna do twelve. What about what about this little pink fish? Look at how lustery and pretty this little guy is. I'm not sure who made him. He's got just a little nubbins of a tag left on him. Should we sell booby mug? Let's sell, let's sell booby mug. That'll make Michael so happy. He loves it when I bring things like that. And also, why don't we sell the little uh, 
the little left and kitty. Boy, we're doing boobies and kitties. Oh, no comment there. All right, what else? Um, what about? Are you? Yeah, you're you're Florence Ceramics. I could sell you. You got a little chip on your hat though. I don't know. We'll think about you. You sit over there. How about Sugar Puss? You know, let's just do. We should do cats. I mean, we we got a lot of cats. We'll, we'll stick with critters, maybe. Look, it's a little sugar shaker. It's sugar puss. So we could do sugar puss. And this, I actually got this from George, the antique nomad. It is um, this, oh, I can never say it. Torque. It's made in England, but it's got a little, the Lucky Devon Pixie. So it's a little sugar bowl from Seton. He's ready for business. What does it say? Help yourself. Oh, it's jam. Help yourself to the jam. All right. What other critters? What other critters are we going to do? What, is, what, are, what are you? Where'd you come from? Little ginger? My dad must have stuck you in there. How about monkey? I got this when I was in Florida. Monkey sugar bowl. Made in Japan. How about we do monkey? And... While we're at it, we've got this Italian spaghetti cat playing the saxophone. Another cat. Are you a cat? Or are you a poodle? I think you're a cat because you've got pointy ears. All right. Well, we're doing lots of critters. Let's stay on the critter. There's more Siamese cats there. One thing. Oh, these. Look. Look at these little bone china English bulldogs. A mama and a pup. We're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna sell you we got some shakers over here let's do some shakers let's think let's think valentine's day should we be thinking valentine's day should we be thinking like maybe um i don't know what are what tell me in the comments what do you think these are do you think that they're deer are they squirrels look at their tails that's why i'm so confused what are you I don't understand. We've got pea pod, pea pod shakers. I love me some anthropomorphic. If you watch my channel long enough, you do know. I also have beets. We've got beets and pea pods, and we've got little turtles with an umbrella. And we've got skunks, lobsters. How about these two little girls that are just so bored? She's just sitting on her butt. She is. You are, who are you? H.J. Behringer, Los Angeles. I like them. They're salt and pepper shakers. They don't have their stoppers, but I love their little faces. They're just so annoyed. You're not a critter. You're a human, but we'll put you in the bucket. We've got these like little atomic. These would be great for a camper. Salt and pepper shakers with that teal lid. Easy to transport, too. These are weighed, and they are all, like, I think storybook. Like, there's the, the little gnome guy. Old Mother, no. I don't know. They have this weird glue. Like, they were glued onto something. They are marked weighed England. So, I mean, we could do Little Boy Blue can blow your horn. Um, That's Jack. Are you Jill? Maybe Jack and Jill? Little Boy Blue, uh, Troll, and Old Mother Hubbard. And then that's Norcrest, Norcrest, and you're just made in Japan. Those little guys. And that little creepy guy, he's crawling around on the floor. We'll save him and you for St. Patrick's Day. I do have a, a Paint by Number poodle. I had this in on my counter, or my, in my bathroom for a while. We could do this, Little Teal Cats. Okay, I've got like I've got some cat stuff going on, don't we? And we've got the wiener dog with the little tail that wags and his head bobs up and down. What do you say on your bottom? What do you say, little wiener dog? S.A. Writer and Company, HYC Copyright, made in Germany. You're a German wiener. Wiener schnitzel. You know what? I'm going to do something that I probably shouldn't do, but you know what? I'm going to do it. I just got, you know, wait, wait, we're going to be a little naughty. 
okay? We're going to drive Michael nuts and be a little naughty because I'm also going to bring this for my best friend. Oh, that's kind of naughty. We should bring that to Michael's sale. Just mess with him a little bit. We also have some naughty. Oh, my word. Look at, oh, that's naughty. What does this one do? That one is Nashville, Indiana, but it has the, see the little um, wagon? But this one, oh, we, we can't, we have, this is a family show. We got to bring at least some kind of glass, right? Mm, been selling blue. So why don't we sell the Fenton hobnail? vase all right i'm gonna bring these things over and i'm gonna count them to see what how many i have and then we'll see how many more we need to bring all right that is a horrible angle but we're gonna count these things so we've got one two three the cats three four the shakers Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ooh, eleven. Oh no, we're gonna have too many. Twelve, thirteen, four. We have fifteen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take all fifteen. Anyway, I think. This video was a little, it was a little here, there, and everywhere. And honestly, some of it is because I'm like, like, I really should go shopping tomorrow to get some shopping footage in, but I don't really want to. So, I'm not. Uh, which means that I, I may have a video on Monday, and I may not. Or, I could go live on Monday and do Shop My Shop. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how I feel when I wake up in the morning. But anyway, I just, I just really don't. Tomorrow is New Year's Eve. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I kind of wanted to have a do nothing day. Like I want to have a day where I don't even have to get dressed. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to cook. I don't have to get anything done or get anything ready or make, you know, like I took a couple days off at Christmas, but I was constantly doing something. So I'm kind of wanting to just take a day where I just don't have to do anything. So I may do that tomorrow instead of going shopping. So you'll just have to forgive me. You know what? You're going to have to also forgive me because that has a big repair on it. Wow. I don't remember if I bought this or if dad bought it, but one of us did not see this ginormous repair. Look at that. Can you see? Like this whole thing has been re-glued. Well, maybe we need to have our eyes checked. Okay, well then that takes care of one of the things I was going to be bringing. So I guess I should say, let me know if you're interested in this because it's got a huge repair. It's all there, but it's repaired. Well, that's a bummer. It happens. It happens to all of us. But thank you guys for watching this really kind of everywhere vlog. But I don't know. My mind's just kind of been in outer space. And I just really think that I need a little bit of a break um, from going out and shopping. Because you see, I have all of this stuff here. So I'm trying to work out what I can do to make some content while I'm here. But I'm just like conflicted. Is that something that you guys want to see? And would it, what, what do you want to see while I'm here? Because I'm not like putting up vignettes. I'm like focusing on just reselling. I'm not doing anything, setting, staging, any of that kind of stuff. So um, it's bas basically just pulling things for my sale and organizing. So um I kind of feel weird doing those videos because I don't know that people even care. So I get to the point where I, I don't know if that would even be good content. But anyway, 
we'll figure it out. But I really don't think I'm going to go anywhere tomorrow. I think I'm going to stay in my pajamas and I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to just lay on the couch and do, I probably will do laundry. But other than that, I'm just going to lay on the couch and then have a day off where I don't do anything. That's good for the soul, right? I think so. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go. If you had seen anything while I was walking around, you know, you can always send me an email, thriftorjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if it's still available or if I'm selling it in live sale. And I don't know. We'll see what, well, I will see you tonight on, oh, vintage and vinyl. Let me show you something really quick. This is a mystery box that weighs 10 pounds. And I'm going to be selling it tonight at 8 o'clock Eastern on Vintage and Vinyl's YouTube channel. So come over and hang out with us and spend your New Year's Eve. I'm going to be schlepping around all day tomorrow. So I don't know what kind of state of affairs that I'll even be looking like. But it's New Year's Eve. We'll all be in our sweatpants together, right? So 10-pound mystery box. And inside, I wrote myself a little reminder note. There is some Mexican pottery. There is a bluebird of happiness. There is a fairy lamp. There are some anthropomorphic. There's some prixies. There's some readers. There's some ephemera. There are some cupies. I kind of try to put like a lot of the things that I really kind of like in there, but it's 10 pounds. It's actually just a little over 10 pounds. So that's going to be available tomorrow. Well, no, tonight. It's Friday in the future. It's Friday right now, but it's, it's in the past when I'm filming this. So, um, tonight, eight o'clock on vintage and vinyl YouTube channel, eight o'clock Eastern. I will, t I will link Katie's channel in the description below. So you will go, you can come over and subscribe and hit the bell so you don't forget, but it's going to be fun. There's going to be games and a bunch of different re resellers will be popping in and selling some things and playing some games. So it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope that you can join us, but also I will see you Sunday night on Michael's channel and Vintage Rescue Squad returns Monday night on Michael's channel as well. Um, I, these Vintage Rescue Squad shirts are still available in my Teespring store. All of that is linked down in the description below if you'd be interested in one. I've babbled on long enough. I hope that you enjoyed this crazy little video and, and you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click the bell notification so you can be reminded when I make another one. I'm gonna see you later. Have a happy new year if I don't see you tonight. And until next time.